I'm gonna need some help. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this vlog. Now, it's been a long time since I've walked this way. I think the last time I walked this way was a couple of years ago whenever I went to see Maleficent. Now, that's going back two, two and a half years, maybe? But it was a long time ago. And we're finally getting this vlog done. I know I was supposed to do this vlog on Thursday, I think. Yeah, Thursday. But we had to change it because I got the fucking times wrong. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally happening. We are off to see Ghostbusters Afterlife. Now, we haven't had a Ghostbusters movie since 2016. And everyone hated that movie. Do you know why everyone hated that movie? Because it was women. Because they had the women Ghostbusters and everyone hated that. We want the OG Ghostbusters. Which apparently they're supposed to show up in this movie. I, I, I'm convinced that's not confirmed, but apparently it is. This Ghostbusters movie also has a good amount of people in it. We have Ant-Man, Paul Rudd, in this movie. Of course, as you know, Paul Rudd never ages. We have Finn Wolfhart, who you might remember as Beep Beep Richie from It. And we have McKenna Grace. I can't think, I know she did a movie with Chris Evans. At one point, that's all I know about McKenna Grace. I don't know much about her. But that is our movie of choice tonight. They are supposed to be switching on the Christmas lights tonight. I remember they did something, again, this is going back two years ago, where we met a stormtrooper. There was a parade that happened and they had the snowman there, if I remember correctly. But I'm, I'm not going down to it because my movie's at half four. And by the time I come out, wait for a possible post credit scene if there is one it would have been too late the tree goes on at six so just you know timing and everything wouldn't exactly work out but ladies and gentlemen uh i'm gonna end this little part for now oh, that's a nice flower i'm gonna end this little part now because i said it is really windy and really annoying actually and i'm more annoyed that i actually have to use my own money for this ticket tonight i can't use the omni pass because we used it on thursday and then i i botched the time but you know it should should all play out and then we'll have a little talk about this movie because obviously i'm not doing a job of ski for this movie but if there is a post credit scene i'll definitely do a post credit scene breakdown if there is one, apparently there's one. I, I, I don't know, I haven't seen the movie yet. <laughs> so we'll find out in mere minutes. Sounds like there's football on, you can hear the people already. Even though we're nowhere near the football grounds, but when you hear people chanting and cheering, that screams football. Now, I would be lying, ladies and gentlemen, if I said this movie was bad. I'd be 100% lying if I said that. But that is me now out of Ghostbusters and spoiler alert, jobber warning, ladies and gentlemen, this movie, oh boy. I don't want to go into, well, too much detail obviously I'm not doing a review on this movie I could but there was 
two post credit scenes, both a mid one and a post credit scene. Only about two or three people stayed until the end, including myself. And I've decided I'm not going to do a video on the post credit scene. I'll just talk about it here. One of the mid post credit scene was Peter Vankman. Uh, all the Ghostbusters did return. All the OG ones, anyway, they returned uh, in this movie. I won't reveal how they returned, but they did. And the mid credit scene just featured Peter Vankman in the electric shock therapy that he did in the original movie. And then the post credit scene was... I can't remember who the character's name was, but he was... He was like the last Ghostbuster to join. And yes, that, that's a full moon behind me there. <laughs> but it was the last Ghostbuster to join and it was just him getting the Echo 1 back. And I have to say, there was a lot of callbacks to the original Ghostbusters, especially in the big final battle, the big, like, I don't even know we apocalypse kind of thing. McKenna Grace as Phoebe was fantastic. Finn Wolfhard, it's Wolfhard, not Hart, um, as Trevor was perfect. The mom was perfect. I don't think we ever learned the name of the girl that Trevor was with, you know, in trailer footage and everything, but the guy that Phoebe was with, he was called Podcast. I don't think that was his actual name, but his real name was never revealed. But overall, you know, I'll say Ghostbusters Afterlife was definitely worth seeing, and I would 100% see it again. Did you guys know that Paul Rudd was uh, <laughs> voted the world's sexiest man or something? Yeah, I didn't know that either. But apparently he was. Did I forget anything? I don't think I did. If I did, I'll come back to it. There's a car coming out here, so give me two seconds if I forgot anything. I don't want to get run over. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think it's bad me walking up this little hill, you know how much I hate this big hill, but let's go. <laughs> there wasn't much more that I can mention. As I say, I'm not going to do the post credit scene video, but our next video, and I'm not exactly a fan of this one because I didn't want to do a review on it. But Delzinski, you guys know Delzinski, I follow him on Twitter, he follows me, he's a 2K creator. He sent out a tweet that he said he watched the Home Sweet Home Alone and that I reminded him of the kid Max. Now, first of all, Del. <laughs> Delzinski, my boy. That's just not true. I resemble nothing like that kid. But after some back and forward, I said to him, should I recreate one of the pictures? And it is now practically my profile picture everywhere. It's this picture. Yeah, not exactly a fan of it, but I recreated it. And I'm gonna do a full review on Home Sweet Home Alone. That'll be December 1st. I'm doing that. Not doing it now. December 1st. Seems like a more appropriate time to do it. Hills. Thank God I'm near a shop. I hated this hill as a kid. And I still hate it now. But ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna... That's going to wrap us up for this video. Thank you for watching. I've got no videos 
this week. Hawkeye obviously starts on Wednesday, but Wednesday we're, we're off to see Encanto on Wednesday. So yeah, I've already explained what way the schedule works out. So yeah, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to the spa, the spear, to get myself a drink. And then I'm gonna get this vlog edited and uploaded. And then that's me for the night, clonked out. No more videos until Wednesday, unless a trailer comes out on the Jobberverse channel. You guys, you guys know the statistics. You've learned the statistics by now. It's like poet poetry. They write, they rhyme, or I don't know what that George Lucas saying is. <sighs> but I need a drink before I collapse. Yeah, it's happened before. <laughs> oh, that was me almost going. 